Welcome back to Global Miss, where we unravel complex topics with a balanced perspective. Today, we're diving into the polygraph, commonly known as the lie detector. How does it work and can it really be outsmarted? Let's explore the science behind it, its flaws and the controversial techniques some people have used to navigate these tests. Before we dive in, let me make this absolutely clear. What you're about to hear is for informational purposes only. This is not a legal device. I am not a polygraph examiner. This video is not about teaching you how to beat a polygraph. Here's the thing, polygraphs are nonsense. They are based on pseudoscience, relying on subjective interpretations of a chart to decide if you're telling the truth. So what I'm saying is that many people who are completely truthful have been labeled as liars, while others who have lied have passed with flying colors. Let's dig deeper into how these machines work, why they're flawed, and what some people have attempted to do when facing them. So what is a polygraph? A polygraph is a machine that records psychological responses such as heart rate, breathing patterns, blood pressure, skin conductivity. So the theory is that these indicators might spike when someone lies, reflecting stress or nervousness. But remember, this is just a theory. It does not actually detect lies. Now let's dig into why our polygraphs are so controversial. Well, the first reason is the assumption problem. They rely on the assumption that lying always causes stress. But the truth is everyone reacts differently under pressure. Some people are naturally anxious even when telling the truth, while others can lie without breaking any sweat. And the second reason is subjectivity. Well, polygraph results are open to interpretation. It is subjective. The examiner's judgment plays a massive role in deciding whether your responses indicate deception. This makes the process unreliable and biased. And the other reason is legal limitations. Most courts in the United States do not accept polygraph results as evidence because they recognize the technology's flaws and unreliability. So how does a polygraph work? Here's how a polygraph test typically works. Well, the first, the examiner start with simple baseline questions like, is your name John? Are you sitting in a chair? These establish what your normal psychological responses look like. So the examiner will see how you respond to a normal questions. And then next they ask relevant questions to related to the test purpose and watch for changes in your responses. And so if they see some changes in your behavior or the points we discussed earlier, that will show as a lie. It is crucial to understand that polygraphs do not detect lies. They only detect changes in physical reactions. These changes can be caused by factors like nervousness or stress, which aren't exclusive to deception. And now techniques some people use to pass a polygraph. Some people have tried specific techniques to manage their responses and behaviors during a polygraph. These are described in Doug Williams' book and how to sting in the polygraph. Williams, a former polygraph examiner, argues that manipulating your psychological responses can help mask signs of anxiety. Let me emphasize again, this is not a recommendation, but here's what people have reportedly used. A controlled breathing so keep your breathing steady and even throughout the test slow deep breath like 15 to 30 per minute can prevent spikes that might suggest nervousness other way can be used like physical countermeasures suddenly clench and relax muscles in your legs or toes during baseline questions these create small disruptions that make it harder for examiner to detect significant changes and the third way can be used like, like imagine a common scene like a beach with gentle waves to stay relaxed and minimize anxiety induced reactions. Last but not least, creating consistent responses. Apply these techniques uniformly across all questions, both baseline and critical ones. The key is maintaining steady psychological patterns to avoid detection. Let's don't forget that examiners are also trained to spot countermeasures. So these methods are not foolproof. So I'll say it is a gamble because it is not 100%. The question is, is it possible to beat a polygraph? Some believe so, but it is far from guaranteed. Remember, polygraphs are flawed tools based on pseudoscience. If you ever face one, keep in mind that limitations and biases involved. Alright, before we wrap up for today, let's remember that the universe belongs to its creator. Beyond our full control, yet we are accountable for the time we are given. Let's stand with those who lead with compassion, act with kindness, think with wisdom, and remain true to justice and humanity. Thanks for watching Global Maze. If you found this video insightful, give it a like and share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Uh, see you next time.